Hello, I am Kyle Anderson here at New York Comic Con. Joined now by the cast of Blind Spot on NBC. Hi guys, what's going on? Hi. Hello. Hey, Kyle. I turned and said hello to you as though I was surprised to see you here, but obviously you were supposed, we're to, supposed be to be here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, look, what, what's going on? Hi. I, I met you earlier too. Thanks for dropping in. Lovely, yeah. Uh, would you guys mind uh, going down the row and introducing yourselves uh, and tell me who you play on Blind Spot? My name is Audrey Esparza and I play Tasha Zapata. I'm Rob Brown and I play Edgar Reed. I'm Sullivan Stapleton and play Kurt Weller. I'm Ashley Johnson and I play Patterson. I'm Marianne Jean Baptiste and I play Mayfair. All right, so first of all, you guys, uh, congratulations on uh, getting your full order. That is very exciting, one of the biggest mm -hmm. hits of the fall. Uh, my first question for you is, what is going on on this show? Uh, I, <laughs> I feel like you've probably been getting that question a lot. Um, there are already so many uh, secrets that I feel like need to be revealed. Um, and I want to know, is this the type of show where the cast is also surprised when they read the scripts about what's going on, or do you guys have a sense of where your characters are going? Uh, I I have um, no clue as to where I'm going. <laughs> they keep you in the dark. Uh, yeah, but uh, I choose I choose to. I think most of us do, um, you know, because it is it's just as exciting to to find it out as the audience as it is you know as as the as the actors that that are playing these roles, you know, it's kind of um, to to get given these scripts and see where where we're going and and where it's leading us. Um, it's it's a good place to be. Yeah, and does that give you sort of opportunity as an actor to kind of experiment with stuff, or to I mean, like, do you guys feel like that is an opportunity, or does it is does it add a little bit of extra burden not knowing where you're headed? Well, it it depends because there's certain aspects of of the show whereby a certain character has to know certain things that are that, that are linked to the mystery, and and then you know that bit, but then there might be other stuff that you're you're not aware of. But as an actor, you don't want to play something that's going to happen in four episodes time you want to be as organic about your performance as possible so you know that stuff and then you forget it yeah. in some cases one of the things i love about this show is that basically to a person every character seems to have some kind of darkness in them there's some kind of secret that they're hiding there's some kind of sinisterness i mean marianne i i, I cannot wait to find out what Mayfair is hiding, because it seems too. like, right, it seems like th there's a lot of <laughs> darkness going on there. Yeah, we like a bit of darkness, though. You know, you like a bit of depth to the character, something that is not, you know, so that they're three-dimensional, they're not just this good boss that does the right thing, that maybe they're this twisted soul who doesn't do the right thing. You, know. you make it sound kind of sexy. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, lie. I you. think yeah. it is, though. <laughs> Marianne is very sexy. Yeah, a little no, bit I'm, of wickedness. I mean, I'm into that. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Um, uh, <laughs> Sullivan, for you, what was the um, uh, uh, what was the pitch to you about on this? Is it like, you, did, did you sort of have a sense of who this guy was going in, or have you really been able to kind of create this guy as, as, as you've gone along? Um, no, I didn't know. <clears throat> the, the the full extent of this character, um, just you know, based based on the pilot, it was you know it was a great story, and he's a great character because it's not just your typical uh, you know stand up sort of cop or you know FBI agent. He's you know there's a lot of layers to Kurt, um, and also this connection to to this case uh, of Jane Doe especially. Um, so it was you know it was a great. Um, it was a great character to sort of explore, uh, and as I said, I don't, I haven't asked where it's going, um, you know, for for the series because it's kind of um, it's kind of nice to to explore it day by day. Yeah, uh, one of this was this had one of my favorite pilots of the season. Uh, some really great action beats uh, really throughout the show that, 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 that we've seen. You know, Jamie seems to be hogging a lot of them, uh, and I think you guys can take that up with her. Uh, but is anybody, uh, anybody here getting some, some great action beats coming up uh, in the show? Are we going to see anybody else sort of uh, kick some ass here? Audrey ends up airborne. Audrey. <laughs> airborne, you say? I think we all kick ass on this show. Jamie, okay. Jamie walked into a family that does kick ass. So <laughs> we all do it, and, and Jamie joining us is pretty we special. We kick ass by default. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's we right. Should, yeah, right, that's, that's, that's your baseline, is, yeah. is ass kicking. Yeah. And anything more is just gravy. Yeah, it's icy. It's, icy. it's like a Monday. <laughs> it's like a Monday. Like, we kick ass on Monday. Monday. 
<laughs> well, wait, do you somehow master the power of flight at some point? What's the... Uh, I, I think that episode seven, I'd never been on a helicopter before. I think that episode seven might have captured the best first helicopter red somebody has ever had on film for many reasons very genuine very none genuine that, none reactions. of which i can tell you no no i'd had to suppress most of my oh. my feelings but the she actual hasn't been doing a very good job of sup- <laughs> listen i didn't get to go no 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 but i, uh, I kept oh, it in rob oh. i looked i kept it in rob i looked really serious like i'd done it before but guys i'd never done it before it was amazing <laughs> anyway we kick ass <laughs> yeah we do maybe someday i get to go in a helicopter Maybe maybe next oh, week. You left Rob behind. Next week you, week you might. No, I go. I go next episode. Yeah, it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. It's fine. So everybody yeah, gets. That'll be two for me. Just say. Just yeah. say. Was that a part of everybody's contract negotiation? Was that everybody gets a helicopter ride? Is that? Oh, is that part of mine. I don't yeah, so know about you guys. All, but you know, I'm not yet. complaining. <laughs> I'm just jealous of her actions. Because you love a helicopter. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I love, love a good fly. helicopter ride. Oh, Just yeah. Who doesn't love a helicopter ride? I've never Who been. Doesn't? That's why it's like, <laughs> I'm it's a big deal. Of her. But <laughs> everybody kicks ass, lights. and we, we have a lot, of, a lot of action on the show. Yeah. Wait, Marianne, were you just doing an impression yeah, of a helicopter? Yeah. 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 The blades. <laughs> Love it. Douche. Yeah. Douche. It's like well, a beat. Wow. It's like a beat. I don't know your douche, douche, what kind of helicopter is that one. But it's more like a It sounds like a failing helicopter. Well, you wouldn't know because you didn't get in it. Whoa. Oh, Jay. Really throwing down the helicopter gauntlet today. You can see this. The dynamic between Reed and uh, Zapata is very real. Very it's real. very real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a weight distribution issue. That's why I couldn't get on the helicopter. I don't know nothing about no dynamic. <laughs> Rob wants to make everything really clear about helicopters true, true, true. and his non-presence on them. That's a spoiler, actually. Is it? I'm did sure it is. Spoil? No, yeah. we're fine. It's I fine. think everyone's okay. fine, right? Yeah. No, no, there's a lot that happens. It's good. There's a lot. <laughs> so much, Rockets. we are not spoiling anything. Well, that's the, that's the thing about the show is that, like, you know, obviously the, the these these stories and these cases come from these tattoos, and there are so many tattoos, and mm-hmm. you're always going to be... And I love that, that there's, you know, a, a week by week we're going to be getting new stories, but there's also this big mythological arc uh, that feels like it is headed to a very wonderful, very uh, bizarre place. Um, and I am uh, very much looking forward to seeing where it goes. And it sounds like you as well are looking forward uh, to, to seeing yeah, where it goes. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone gets any kind of information about where this show is headed, the cast of Blind please Spot inform know. everybody. Yes, yes. You can write to them at One Blind Spot Way, uh, Blind Spot Town, one California. Blind, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, five, five, five. Five, five, five. <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, Blind Spot airs Mondays at 10 on NBC. Uh, we really look forward to see where the show is going, you guys. Thanks so much for coming in and hanging Thank out. You. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.